guys, welcome back to our country stream. Um, what we have here today is a new, um, new air rifle. Um, and basically this is one that I've never had before. My buddy had it, um, or he still has it as of today. And I used it on a squirrel hunt a couple weeks ago. I just had so much fun with it. It was like so quiet and lightweight and just perfect for like all day kind of walk around in the woods type of thing. And that's that's what I kind of want. When you're walking through the woods, you want something light, um, especially when you're squirrel hunting. You know, you're not, you're not sitting, you know. If I do sit, I'll sit up against a tree just for like a blitz second or two, you know, and that's about it. And most of the time I'm walking through the woods. And back here in my own yard, I don't really do that. Most of the time I sit there um, because I have baiting stations um, where the squirrels are coming in. I got all kinds of acorns back there where I can, you know, get them to come in, and that's how I get them off. So, with that being said, the new gun that I've been testing out for the last couple days, um, and it's doing really well, and I still haven't found the favorite pellet out of the gun. Um, you know, it's a new gun to myself, um, stuff like that. So, the gun that it is, A lot of you guys are going to be like, why would you go with that? It's called the Gamma Bone Collector Maximus 22 cal. Um, it's a great gun for, you know, your pest controlling, squirrel hunting, you know, rabbits, coons. You know, there's probably a 50-50 chance on killing a hog with this or a coyote. Um, like I said, it's 22 cal. It's got a really nice grip to it. When you shoulder it, it's just got a nice feel to it. It's not real heavy where it's like, you know, you have a rough time holding it up and a rough time keeping it still. It just is perfect. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. And this gun, you know, with the ammo I'm shooting, you know, it's probably shooting probably about probably about 800 feet per second out of the ammo I'm shooting. I did start out with Crosman pointed and those those are a 14 grain and 22 cal. Those were all right but they're not the best. Um, you know they're they're good for like mid-range. Farther range you get out they were just terrible not even hitting. Um, I ended up shooting them today at 30 and 40 yards and at a target and I had about a four inch spread at 30 yards with the Crossman pointed. Then I went over to the H&N, they're kind of hard to say but one of you guys probably know what these are called and my buddy shoots these and that's all he shoots out of his gun. So here's um, the Crossman pointed. These are 14.3 grain, here's the lid. Get 175 uh, pellets, 5.5 mm. So, uh, but it's favorite ammo that's actually shooting better at 30, 20 yards, and 40. And I was getting about a two inch, or about a inch and a half group. It's called these H&N. They're called something with an S. A lot of you guys probably know what I'm talking about. They're like us of lacquer or whatever they're called um, there's some weird name but they're from H&N um, they're great pellets they're a heavier green pellet and I've, I've noticed with my 25 cal hats on edge vortex um, the heavier the pellet the more accurate it is the more stable it is and these 14.3 grain pointed just weren't they weren't holding the consistent, and I was watching them downrange. I had my slow motion uh, app on my iPhone, and I was watching the the pellet fly downrange in slow mo. 
and I could see the pellet going and then it would go like like that it was so terrible that it just wasn't accurate so that's why I went and these I think are a 21 grain I'm pretty sure or 18 grain they're a little heavier and I've noticed like I said I've noticed that a heavier pellet out of these magnum style air rifles um, the more consistent you're gonna be and the other thing is I haven't like that's the only two pellets I've tried and these H&N's are shooting really really well and I haven't had not one flyer out of those H&N's so um, it's not bad but anyways you have to have a scope on this uh, bone collector Maximus basically here what you have is on this lower side is something new that uh, Gamo is coming out with on all their air rifles now. Basically this bottom rail is basically for the uh, recoil. Spring air rifles have a lot of recoil. When you shoot they go back and then they go forward. And you know back then when I used to have my old spring gun my scope I would just sight it in go out in the backyard here <clears throat> shoot some targets it would be on and then I would go you know start hunting with it and my scope would be moving it'd be sliding back or forward that was just terrible I ended up putting Loctite on the inside the rings and I couldn't get the scope off after that I still have that gun but I just don't use it as much as I do these these nitro pistons Basically, this gun does not have a nitro piston. What it does is it has an IGT um, gas ram in it, so it's a little quieter. It's basically Gamel's way of a nitro piston. It's got the full shrouded barrel, which makes it really, really quiet. I mean, this sucker's so quiet that, you know, I was impressed the first day I got it. I'm thinking, okay, the first day I'm thinking it's going to crack like a mule. Um, it's going to be so loud and pff, it, it's so quiet. It's way quieter than my 25 cal Hatson. Um, but anyways, the scope that it comes with is this Gamma. It's a 3 by 9 by 40 It does not have adjustable ejective. Um, you know, it's a good scope for your 20 to 30 yard shots. I have no problem with the scope. Um, you know, now if I was going to go out to 50, 60, to 70, I'd probably go with a better scope. I'd probably go with either a UGG uh, mill dot or a Crossman uh, AL scope. Anything AL. Um, I haven't had time to put on a Crossman scope. Eventually I'm going to get down to it. I just got this gun, like I said, it's brand new to me. I'm still getting used to shooting it. I was out this morning on a hunt with it didn't see any squirrels so that's never too good so another thing is if you guys look at it you're probably wondering what that green and black is basically on this gun is a grip now it's not real foam soft grip it's kind of like just a hard but it's it's got good grip to it so when you hold it you know your hands are not sliding you know it's kind of nice about it and it's got at the tip here you're probably wondering what the holes are. Basically, the pellet goes through the barrel, and right here it quiets it really much. And I really, it's not a bad gun, guys. I got this gun on sale for 95 bucks uh, at a Dick's Sporting Goods near me, and regular price was 270. I got it on for 95 bucks on clearance, and it's not a bad deal. I couldn't pass it up. When I called my dick sporting goods, I asked them about it. And they said, uh, we got it on sale right now. I'm like, alright, how many you guys got left? They're like, we got two left. You want us one you want one to hold for you? I said, yeah. So they held it for me. I went up and grabbed it. Bam, here it is. Um and another thing is it's got the bone collector logo right here on it. And it's got the Michael Waddell signature. And this scope mount is a one piece. And I love one piece. That's why I love this gun, guys. It's 
got the one piece scope so now you know that your scope is consistent and it's not moving like I said it's got this new technology on it now that it's made for these spring power uh, or brake barrel air rifles so Gamma you guys did an amazing job on this gun um, and we're gonna go ahead and get shooting it now I don't have a lot of pellets with me right now but what's better to you know, not to shoot a target what's better than shooting an apple basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it out at 20 yards here and we're gonna shoot it therefore you guys can see you know the consistently um, shot placement so we got a a rotten apple here basically it's a apple that's all soft we're gonna go ahead and shoot these H and N we're probably gonna take one shot and probably it's probably gonna get demolished on the first shot I don't know so we're gonna go ahead and get it set up down range 20 yards and we'll be right back I have to do here is turn you guys around so hopefully don't ask me why you guys are going in between a tree here because my tripod Apples to the left side. I'll go out there and point. To it. Okay, guys, real quick. Uh, you guys are probably wondering before I shoot this apple. And how does the barrel break down? It's a brake barrel. It's real simple. Basically, you put it, it's got real, real smooth cocking. You know, you don't have to sit there and go like that and hit it to break it down. I didn't even have to put any hitting power on that barrel at all. So you put the pellet in, just like that. And it's a real, real, real simple. Okay, I hit it. Let's see. We're just blowing the side of the apple right off. Alright. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, guys, it's right on the hill. I'm trying to Thank you. 
Okay, the apple's on the hill. I know it's hard to see, guys. I don't have my tripod with me, so there we go. That being said, a lot of you guys are probably a lot of you guys are probably wondering, should I get this gun? And I can tell you right now, for your new for the you air gun hunters um, I would get it it's not a bad gun you know if you shop around you can get it cheap and that's what I ended up doing um, I could have got like a PCP and stuff like that but I just I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on a PCP now they do sell some of the cheaper PCP air rifles and you know, but if I'm going to buy a PCP, I want something something that's going to be able to hold up a lot better. Um, and, you know, it's, it's all right, but the problem is about PCPs is you have to buy a either a hand pump or a, uh, a tank, an air tank. And I just don't want to be dealing with that. I like breaking down my barrels and you know loading up the pellets a single shot so you got to make your first shot count otherwise you're gonna be sitting there reloading um, is this gun a hunter <laughs> yes it is a hunter um, this gun you know like I said it could probably it takes out from anywhere from a raccoon to a squirrel to birds to rabbits um, you know anywhere between like uh, any type of small game animal um, you know, you're not going to be able to take out a coyote with this gun, um, you know, or unless you hit it directly in the brain, there's no way this gun's going to have it. Now my 25 cal, you know, that gun's more reliable for that type of animal. Um, and the ammo for the 22 is a lot cheaper than my 25 ammo. Um, I could buy a tin of those pointed pellets for the price of... I could buy two tins of them pointed pellets for the price of one, uh, one tin of 25 pellets. So this gun is a lot, the ammo is a lot cheaper. Um, and I got more of a variety around my area of 22 ammunition than I do 25. I have to order all my 25 cal pellets and I have to wait a couple days. This gun I could go up to Dick's Sporting Goods and buy a tin of pellets go to Dunham's by pellets so um, that's the thing and that's that's what makes this gun so good um, you know it's a two-stage adjustable trigger um, and you could if you want to you could pop out these inserts um, if you really want to but I just leave them in I don't need to take them out for nothing there's really no sense of uh, taking them out so anyways guys that's about it um you know it's a good gun i'll definitely get this gun in front of you guys it's quiet as you guys could hear i was extremely quiet you know and it wasn't like a good big old kapow sound like a shotgun or a 22 long rifle so this gun is backyard friendly um you know you're not gonna make your neighbors go nuts um you know, I've shot this gun before in the city from my buddy's house, and uh, his neighbor was outside and never even looked over to see. He just, it was so quiet. Um, so, anyways, guys, that's about it. I'm out of here. I got some stuff to do. I'm hitting the woods this afternoon. So, if I get one, I'll post a photo or a video tonight later on at dark so anyways guys thanks for watching watching air guns extreme we'll see you guys at the next one